Hello grade 12s, welcome back to our channel. My name is Felilene Ngosi. In this video, we are still at human responding to environment and we will be focusing on peripheral nervous system. So here I have the examination guideline. This guideline is for life sciences and uh, we will be looking at the peripheral nervous system, which location and the functions and the autonomic nervous system, also no locations and the functions. I will also show the structure and the functioning of the nerves. The nerves, I will include the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. So this is the content of this video. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. First of all, I would like to explain what is nervous system. So a nervous system is divided into two parts. So we have central nervous system and then we have peripheral nervous system what makes central nervous system it's the brain and the spinal cord so the brain and the spinal cord they made central nervous system and then peripheral nervous system here we is found in the cranial and the spinal nerves so uh, what is a cranial nerves a cranial nerves directly connected to the brain stem and the brain so for example cranial nerves are the nerves from the eyes from our ears from our nose also from our throat while spinal nerves connect the spinal cord with other part of the body so all these nerves that are from the other part of the body that are connected to the spinal cord these nerves are called spinal nerves so brain communicate with this part of the body through the spinal cord so another thing and uh, this peripheral nervous system is divided into two. We have autonomic nerves and the somatic nerve. So with autonomic system, it's the system that is responsible for the action that are happening automatically. Like there are some action in our body that takes place automatically. Like heartbeat, you can control your heartbeat. Like blood pressure, pulse, this, these are the system the, the, the autonomic system is responsible for that and then we have somatic nerves are happening consciously like if i walk then i walk consciously this is for somatic nerve and then this autonomic nerves or autonomic system is divided into who we have sympathetic system or sympathetic nerves and then we have parasympathetic nerves so with sympathetic nerves sympathetic nerves it prepare body for a a stressful or emergency situation if there is a emergency then the sympathetic nerves it kicks in and then take action and then while parasympathetic nerves it it maintains normal body functioning so these two are work in an opposite man so if this one take an action and then this one will bring their stuff to normal i hope i have explained everything so next up i'll go to the functions of the nerves if you remember we have sensory neuron and the motor neuron so nerves send and carry signal to or from all part of the board so these are the nerves so its job is to carry signals away or to the part of the board this is the function of the nerves and the nerves are made up of neurons which is sensory and the motor neuron so in the next slide i will explain sensory and the motor neuron so here we have sensory neuron. So you, you need to know how to draw this structure and then how to label the structure. These labels here are the ones that are important. And then here we have sensory neuron. The difference between sensory neuron and the motor neuron is the cell body. With sensory neuron, the cell body is on the side. So if you see here, we have a cell body. But with motor neuron, the cell body is at the, at the beginning. So this is the difference. This one has the cell body at the beginning and then this one has the cell body at the side. And then you need to know how to draw this and then the direction. So the direction of the impulse is from the dendrous cell body and the axon. So for if you want to cram it, you can use this. We have A, B, C, D, but the direction of the impulse in a, in a, in a neuron is D, C, B, A. So if you read A, B, C, D, moving back, 
then this is the direction. D is for dendrite, CB is for cell body, and then A is for axon. So the direction is from dendrite, cell body, and then axon. So this is how we find, we explain the direction of the impulse inside the neuron. Also in sensory neuron, we still dendrite, and then cell body, and then axon. So this is the direction of the impulse. And then now we have to explain the functions of the sensory neuron and the functions of the motor neuron. So sensory neuron carries signal from the body tissues and organ to central nervous system. While the motor neuron carries signal from the central nervous system to the muscle. So after the brain has responded this information from the sensory neuron. So this information will travel through the motor neuron and move to whatever the target then causing them to contract. So this will carry the signal from the central nervous system to the muscle and then causing them to contract. So this is the functions of the motor neuron and the functions of the sensory neuron. And then make sure you know how to label this structure. You know because in the next step I will explain the functions of each part here. So uh, here is the function of the part and we have myelin shell. So with myelin shell, the function is to insulating the axon. If you see here, this cell is insulating the axon and then another function is speeding up the transmission of impulse. So it makes the impulse to speed up and then we have axon. So axon is this tube or this pipe that is running inside here. So its function is to transmit impulse to other neurons. So the function of this axon, axon is to transmit impulse to other, other neurons. And then we have the cell body. So the cell body, inside the cell body, there is nucleus. So the cell body houses neurons genetic information. We know that the nucleus carries genetic information. So cell body gave it a house. It houses neuron genetic information. And then we have dendrites. So the dendrite receive impulse. And then this is the function of the dendrite. It receive impulse. And then another function of the dendrite is transmit impulse towards the cell pole. So the impulse started entering the neuron via the dendrites. Like I say, the, the direction is D, C, B, A. So it starts with the dendrite. After the dendrite is the cell body. Then after the cell body is the axon. So this is the direction of the impulse inside the neurons. So I hope I have explained everything. And then so to avoid the video to be long, I will stop here so that you can uh, absorb everything that I've just said. So if you have watched this video to this far, thank you very much. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So if you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you. God bless you.